Well, it's done. It's finished. The snakes are probably going back to bed for the rest of the season now. Maybe there will be a few warm days here and there, but for the most part, snake season is done. It's over. But with every end comes new beginnings. With the ending of snake season comes salamander season, and there's one particular species of salamander that I'm out here hoping to see today. That one is a spotted salamander, and uh, I totally did not get this spot from iNaturalist. I totally did not... <laughs> Who does that? That's stupid. But yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna see if maybe I can find some. I think with the rain and the low temperatures, they're gonna wanna kinda, you know, get their groove on. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. So let's just go ahead and... Oh, that's some railroad ties here. That could be good. You're kidding me. Car, there. Spotted salamander. <laughs> You've got to- What? Oh my god, are you joking? You're kidding me, this is a joke. Like, that literally just happened. That thing is right there, and my car is literally right there. I mean, I just got out, and I've already found what I, what I came here to find. What? Oh my gosh, no way. Here, I'm just gonna- Oh, 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 hey buddy. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's so pretty. All right, there's a spotted salamander. I had a feeling these rains and the cool temperatures would get these guys to come out from underground, and uh, sure enough, I was right. What a find. Hopefully, this is only the first one of multiple. I mean, I'd be thrilled if I found quite a few of these guys today. How about that, man? Hey, little guy. You know, spotted salamanders... Okay, buddy, okay. Spotted salamanders may... Huh, may not be that big of a deal to some people, but, you know, I don't really see them too often. They like a little more specific habitat than other ambistoma or mole salamanders do. Most of the mole salamander species that we get around here are uh, bottomland species, so you find them more in like swamps and bottomland forests and places like that. But these guys, you know, I don't really see them too much in that kind of habitat. Hell, I've never really seen one in that kind of habitat ever. Usually they like a little bit more of an upland type forest. Kind of like the same habitat that you'd find maybe, yo, a slimy salamander, even though I have found slimies in swamps before, but generally I find them in a more upland forest type of habitat, and these guys typically like to hang out in those areas too, and they breed in the big vernal pools that form in those upland forests, and you can get, you know, breeding masses of like dozens or even hundreds of these things if you're lucky, and I'm looking forward to the spring because maybe I might see something like that. That would be incredible, but nice. First spotted salamander of the day. What about that? Beautiful dude. So pretty much the area that I'm in right now is an upland area, and right down the hill is a massive swamp. Okay, so it's important that I'm up in this upland area and not the swampy portion because these salamanders, you know, they don't really like the swamp. They like to hang out high up, so that's what I'm doing here. Basically just looking under cover in this upland area should, as it did just a second ago, it should hopefully get me some more spotted, so let's keep flipping. Let's see if... Oh my god, no fr Look at this! Another one! Oh my god, look at... That is another spotted salamander. He was just right underneath this little board thing here that's, you know, right next to this little shack. And that's the second one for today. This is amazing. Wow. Little guy. What about that? That's beautiful. This one's a little younger. He's a lot smaller than the last one was. But, uh, you know, he's definitely not in his larval stage or anything like that. He's, he's not that young. But he's still, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a little dude. He's not too uh, old or anything like that. But he is definitely old enough to be pretty. Aren't you, little dude? That's amazing. Wow. Beautiful little salamanders. Absolutely love them. Once again, I mean, I'm really looking forward to the spring when these guys uh, are breeding in heavy numbers. Hopefully there will be some vernal pools in this area that I can check out and maybe see a bunch of them breeding. I don't know. I mean, if I'm finding them undercover, then surely there is a place that they breed around here. So adorable and pretty. All right, let's put them back. Okay, little guy. Underneath you go. Amazing. Have a good one, buddy. All right, well, that's the video. Pretty short, pretty sweet, you know, nothing too crazy. I figured y'all might not mind coming along for the ride and seeing what I saw, and that's what I saw. Two little spotted salamanders, so I've got a feeling that coming this next spring, late winter, y'all are gonna get another video a little bit like this, but with uh, maybe just a few more salamanders. But uh, until then, I will see you guys on the next one.